Hello and welcome to your general reading for the month of January 2022 for the star sign of Libra. So what we will do, we will divide the video here in sections so it is easier to understand so to speak and it's also a bit easier for me <clears throat> to um, get a bit more. If that makes sense, we will be looking at your overall energy for the month of January 2022. Uh, and then we will move into your emotional core. So that could be about trauma that still needs to leave. Um, it could also be um, about love coming in. And then lastly, we will look at opportunities um, as they present themselves to you in 2022 or in the, in the month of January rather of 2022. Um, and sometimes things are quite overlapping <clears throat> with these things because, you know, nothing strives in isolation um we'll see what the guides are actually <coughs> saying or doing let me just get a sip can't be caffeine <laughs> so before we do anything remember on january the 2nd 2022 we have a new moon so this is the time for you to actually start over, think about what it is you want to manifest and manifest it, because the new moon is literally a, a not or non-illuminated moon, a dark moon, and it takes two weeks from the new moon to the full moon, which means light is coming in slowly. So whatever it is you manifest, because every time you manifest, we manifest from our emotional core, which is governed so to speak by the moon so we're quite affected by the energy and the phases of the moon with regards to any manifestations <clears throat> and since the light is coming in slow-ish the idea is to manifest the heck out of what you want um, but allow for things to come in and change slowly okay now, there's another positive thing before we finally get to the cards here, which is that on the 4th of January, dear Librans, we have a so-called perihelion, which means that the Earth is closest to the Sun. And that means that all star signs <clears throat> get a massive boost energetically. So, therefore... When the year starts off with a new moon, you know, the new beginning, yeah, let's manifest stuff. And then an energy boost, right, that helps us all to realize that with high energy, whatever it is that comes up here today <clears throat> in the month of January, with higher energy and seeing things from a higher point of view, um, things are much easier to deal with, if that makes sense, right? So, remember, Librans, you are governed by the planet Venus. And Venus is not only the planet of love, but it's also an oddball planet among all the other planets. So you are Libra. You are represented by the old-fashioned scale. So what you really look for in life is balance. And what that also means is that you're looking for harmony. Now, of all the planets in our solar system, only Venus spins clockwise. All the others spin anticlockwise. That may not mean much unless you realize that it means an awful lot. When you look at healing, especially when we're using our hands <clears throat> for healing, you, you know this when you work with your pendulum or whatever it is you do, just watch your hands. <clears throat> you, you want to achieve something, you do certain things, just watch how your hand moves. When your hand moves clockwise, right? That means I'm putting in harmony. And because oftentimes when we do anything with the pendulum or, um, or anything we do, uh, chakra alignment, the way the hand moves tells you whether or not you're actually putting in harmony, which would be clockwise, which is so very, very Libra and so very, very Venus, <laughs> or anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise literally means I'm taking out whatever it is that doesn't serve me anymore. Now, all the other planets automatically help with letting stuff go. Libra, who is looking for balance, oftentimes you might, well, not you might, it's just the way it is in your energy. <clears throat> you will likely, that's a better way of saying it, you will likely 
paint a nicer picture at times to keep the harmony, right? Um, not quite sure why this comes up yet, so maybe it will be reflected in the reading here. Um, but somehow I felt drawn to mentioning that Venus, although it is the planet of love and your star sign is the star sign that really hates chaos because you need and want that balance. And <coughs> Venus goes against the crane quite a bit, if that makes sense. And so what I'm hearing is, right, especially in January with all the positivity that we're having, right, um, go against the crane in your own way, right, be awkward and claim what it is you want, right? So, <clears throat> finally, let's have a look what we got for the overall energy for the months of January 2022 for the star sign of Libra. Don't get scared because you have relaxation and marriage. Love and marriage. Relaxation and marriage. Now, marriage does not mean literally marriage. If that's what's coming up for you as a couple, fine, but that's not what the depiction here means. Marriage just means, again, it goes very Libra because you have two people here holding on to each other, making uh, and affirming a union. And what that means for Libra, again, with the balance, it is really important for you to look at your life and have a look who is in your life maybe in a more intimate relationship, so a very good friend or someone that you actually are with, <clears throat> and how you can make sure in January that your energy, that your energies support one another because you have relaxation. So with the high boost coming in uh, on the 4th of January, and <clears throat> I said in the intro here, um, how important it is to get things done when the energy is extra high and yet you have relaxation. That doesn't mean that, that, that the boost doesn't apply to you, it applies to you, um, but you can go things or should go things a little bit slower and a bit more relaxed. So watch for things that come your way that upset you because these are the things that you have to deal with slowly. Really, really important. Right? So, short and sweet for the overall energy for the month of January 2022. You're watching Energy and Stars and Readings with myself, Thomas Yannack. Now, please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can buy me a coffee now on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Moving on to your emotional core. Let's have a look what we got for your emotions. <clears throat> it's quite simple and maybe not so simple. <laughs> you have two C words. <laughs> you have contentment and clairvoyance. So, with regards to anything to do with how you feel about people and situations, before you look at what isn't working, Make sure you're content with what you have and where you are. So the first rule of thumb with regards to looking at how do I actually feel is to figure out if you are actually happy and content where you are right now because from, from that place of maybe um, lethargy, haven't done much um, about this in a long time, um, is where real change can come from, right? So there's quietness here. <clears throat> so they're asking you to first understand, look at things and also acknowledge where you are all right with situations where you are content because your next energy here is clairvoyance, hence the two C words, <laughs> contentment and clairvoyance. And clairvoyance means that you are gifted and you see exactly what's going on in relationships that you are in. It is also interesting because that means to trust your intuition. So when you reflect and as you reflect on 
relationships you're in <clears throat> or relationships you want to manifest and have look at things trust your intuition when you look at stuff and you feel a certain way about things that's your intuition telling you something so pay attention and don't paint that nicer picture uh, we talked about because that is a bit of a Libra trait <clears throat> at times to give 25,000 um, <laughs> um, second chances if that makes sense um, and is very forgiving and while there is nothing wrong with being kind and forgiving the moment it starts affecting how you feel about things um, especially when it lowers your energy that's the time to look at changing things right lastly finally so to speak let's look at the um, opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of January 2022 again please like subscribe and share because it helps me massively to grow that channel and if you so if you're so inclined you can support me financially by buying me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas that's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas now with regards to opportunities you have the silence and enlightenment enjoy the silence let me just show this to you the silence and enlightenment big word enlightenment what they're really saying to you don't chase anything don't chase opportunities don't you don't have to be loud to be seen if you have to be loud somewhere just to get in to be noticed that doesn't work in the month of January for the star sign of Libra because you have the silence which is also it's not exactly contemplation if that makes sense so it's not about sitting there in January and, and, and necessarily overthinking um, you know so they're not asking you to sit there and kind of go so how do I manifest um, new opportunities that's not really what I'm getting what I'm getting is, is for you to actually trust that new opportunities can come your way and the calmer you are about things and you just manifest them without having to explain yourself 10,000 times, the easier it is for these opportunities to arrive at you, at your doorstep. And with enlightenment, massive word, it just means that when you go about understanding that you deserve opportunities and you manifest, right, that you're being supported and sustained because that's what opportunities in this reading sort of means we're looking at what sustains you um, largely financially and you wouldn't want to work somewhere where you're not happy so this is also about you you guys um, maybe making changes working self-employed working spiritually where you create the pace of your day right so enlightenment in that part of the reading <clears throat> means is that new opportunities that really go places will make themselves known to you provided you're not going into panic if that makes sense right enlightenment is a word that gets thrown around a lot and a lot of people um believe that they're enlightened and you know good luck to them when you look at the terminology here um the moment you still get annoyed with stuff that in the scheme of things may not be all that important you're not really enlightened right um, <clears throat> when you're a spiritual person you see things differently so you have made uh, a lot of progress maybe you can see things that other people don't see still doesn't make you enlightened because the reason why we come here again and again and again is to accumulate and to learn until we finally get anywhere near that enlightenment that everybody is seeking that's why because i work with native american guides and spirit animal guides a lot that's why the message is always make the best of now because that's really all you have so you can be enlightened in the moment by making better choices if that makes sense ultimately do not look for opportunities right and if you if there are things coming your way but you have the feeling in order for me to grab this I have to be quick now, I have to be loud now, I have to go the extra mile. You can do all these things because you have free will. 
energetically speaking, what the guides are saying to you, opportunities will come to you when you're just you, but reflect on what it is you really wish to do with your life, right? So, Librans, that was that. I hope you liked the reading. I hope it resonated with you because the general reading might not resonate with all of you. And um, please like, subscribe and share. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.